okay guys, uh, I'm back. Oh, okay, um, yeah, I think I'll try to unwind with her before getting physical. What the hell, that looks like those old chairs I have. It's the one I'm sitting on. Oh, this game's creeping me out. You look at her standing, barely lit, and notice there's a few candles scattered around the apartment. It occurs to you that she has made, tried to make this night special for the two of you. Even though you have a tight knot of antisocial frustration in your stomach, seeing how much she cares makes you want to try to melt it away so you can show her how much you care that she's gone through all this trouble. Oh, you desperately need to shift gears before that's even possible. Oh, he's driving a manual car right now. You look amazing. Let's have a drink together, you suggest, hoping that this will give you the push you need to get into the mood. How do you know she's got a drink, huh? You go into the kitchen and pour the two of you drinks, trying to focus on letting go of your bad mood. That's a brilliant way. Trying to figure it like okay, okay. I've got to figure it out this okay. That, that is never gonna work. What a noob. <coughs> what was I up to? You sit down on the couch next to her and you she cuddles up to you instantly. What should we toast to? She asks as she takes a drink. Here for a moment, passing up on the cheesy to us option. So what's on your mind? Letting go of your bad day. Do tonight. Yeah, that's a nice one. Two of you cheers, and you ask her about her day. Conversation turns flirtatious. The two of you find yourselves in the bedroom shortly after. Find that you're having trouble getting into things physically with her. Remember that diminished arousal was a possible side effect of your medication. Oh shit. You'd hope that you're part of the population that wouldn't be affected by it, but it seems as though this was not the case. However, you're still able to enjoy the closeness with Alex and to fall asleep together happily. Wow. <laughs> I should have just talked. Oh my god. Oh, that's just. Oh my god. Oh wow. Diminished arousal was a possible side effect. Oh wow. I don't want to be depressed anymore. And that's not an experience I want to have. <coughs> Ever. Sounds worse than it is. It's an already... It's an... Oh my god, I can't read these beginning lines. It's an early winter evening, and even though it's not particularly late, the time of this year has lent the sky and almost per prematurely dark and cast. Mm -hmm. Day after day, just like today, you trudge home from a job you have increasingly come to hate. This day, your job misery seems to have reached critical mass. Oh. Not even shedding your rain-laden and uncomfortable work clothes helps you unwind from your workday. You collapse into your couch, blank and numb. While your job always seemed to be just an unpleasant reality of existence, it was a position you sort of fell into unexpectedly, never intending to work the long term. It's getting harder and harder to keep it up. While it's certainly not your dream job, you've always just sort of stuck it out of necessity before, but it's becoming increasingly difficult to do that. That you couldn't even begin to imagine what else you could do. You find yourself face to face with a question you just can't ignore. Is your complacency the worth the price of this level of misery? What's complacency? Good question. <coughs> yeah, I'll look at classifieds. You better be computer and navigate to the logo Craigslist. What's the Craigslist? Ah, oh, right, right. You see if there are a myriad of legitimate postings, clear pyramid scams, and the occasional miscategorized random personal ad. You look through the section that is in line with the current job and start feeling a bit of despair. Will things really be any different if you're simply doing the same thing somewhere else? You, you email your resume to a few of the postings after coming up with, with a cover letter that you could use for a variety of things. I've exhausted the postings for the last few days. You, get oh, you head back to the main page. There's a section that's more in line with the project you've been doing. It's a fairly highly competitive creative field that you don't feel remotely qualified for. Despite that, you click on the section scrolling through the posting. You daydream about actually holding a position where you would get to do something more meaningful. Despite feeling completely intimidated by the requirements, you find the listing you actually want to apply for. You spend half an hour crafting a really personal cover letter and really giving your all to the task and nervously sending off the email. 
You are either convinced you'll never hear back from any of these places, but the act of trying to change your situation instead of just doing on it actually feels quite freeing. You find yourself trying to stifle the hope that you end up getting the creative job, but it still manages to bubble, bubble up anyway. Oh wow, well, I'm moderately depressed, holy shit. <coughs> That's... Oh, the beep, am I gonna do this? That's not a nice word to say. It's a little past 8 p.m. Oh, finally, a good date, time, whatever, on a Tuesday night. You're at your computer, frustration levels peaked, rubbing your eyes and sighing heavily. You're working on a project from your job that as you stretch to wit's end, trying to make a long, looming deadline. As it looks closer and closer, you're seriously doubting your ability to get it done. You've dragged your feet, you're dragging your feet a little at work due to your complete lack of energy lately. Instead of wanting to do a good job, you find yourself unable to push past it and feel horribly useless for it. You slide your hands off your face to look at your screen as it beeps at you. Attic, hey, you there? Are we going to talk to someone about something? You feel like you're getting nowhere with your current task and could probably use a break. However, you know that you have a history of getting distracted and losing motivation to pick something back up then afterwards. I'm going to say Attic. Yeah, seems. Yeah, yeah. You feel like you've got a brick wall with your task, so why not take a break and help out old friend? Hey, what's up? Oh, good, you there. Um, I just found out I got cheated on. I don't know what to do. Oh no, this is horrible. Oh shit. Now oh, he can't help you anymore because he's gonna be depressed on this, of course. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean I don't know what to do? This guy's dumbass. You got cheated on, slap the bloody asshole. Anyway, the two of you talk for a long time and you lend a shoulder to your friend online. <clears throat> you give him space to rant, to cry, most importantly to be able to voice his inner turmoil. You give him your full attention and talk to him through what his options are for what he does next. You can keep him from doing something rash and the two of you decide to him to sleep one night before doing anything. So he you just pass over and thanks you for being there to talk with him. As you close the iron window, you feel horribly sorry for your friend, but happy that you were able, able to help. This is a tangible reminder that you are capable of being useful to someone instead of solely being a mess and needs everyone else's help. You build up your work project and you find you are suddenly able to get some solid project progress done on it that night. Yeah, cuz. Oh yeah, cuz I'm awesome. Oh, more drugs? Yeah, right. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon. You're in deep thought after away from uh, on the way home from therapy. However, you notice this time that you're not the same negative feedback loops. Oh, that's mad. You really get trapped in when being this introspective. You realize that although you still have your bad days, your lows aren't quite as low as they used to be. That's nice. The antidepressants bottle rolls across your dashboard as you take a left turn. You've been on this medication for quite a while now, after a period of trying a few different kinds, so though you still have minor side effects, they will overall become an unnoticed part of your life. You feel as though your life has genuinely changed for the better recently, and you begin to wonder if you need them anymore. You don't feel as much despair or hopelessness, and you hate yourself a lot less this, these days. Maybe it's time to stop taking these, is um, not really need them anymore. meds but yeah I think I will boom I went off meds what are you gonna do